the commission was set up under an act of parliament, Water Resources Commission Act 1996, Act 522. And the act was set up to manage Ghana's raw water resources. The commission started its work in 2001 with the passing of the water use regulation. This regulation was to manage use of raw water resources for various activities, for example, for fish farm, which is aquaculture, for irrigation, for mining and operations, industrial water use. Then subsequently, in 2006, the commission came out with another regulation, the drilling license and groundwater development regulation. This regulation was to manage people or companies that drill underground water and develop wells. The work of the Commission has been focused on these two regulations to date. However, a new regulation is coming now, that is the dam safety regulations, which will look at how safe dams can be, how they can be constructed and managed in Ghana. We also look at monitoring and inspection activities. We go through process of giving licenses to various companies and then follow up to monitor the use. This work we do often in connection with the EPA and also the assemblies at the local level. The Commission manages its water resources on basin basis. And so presently we have five river basins. The first one being the Densu Basin and then the Ankobra Basin in the western region, the White Volta Basin in Bogatanga, the Pra Basin and the Tano Basin. And we also do our monitoring activities at this basin level. Because we need the cooperation of law enforcement agencies in the managing of our water resources, the legal department of the commission works a lot with assemblies. We work with the EPA and the police. In 2012 and 2014, we undertook extensive training of police officers throughout the country. The purpose is that as much as the commission and the legal department seeks to enforce our regulations, we cannot do it in a vacuum. These are laws with criminal sanctions attached. And so the police needed to know what to do and which laws to apply when offenders come up in the issue of water use and related activities. And so this training has been undertaken and I'm glad to say we are getting positive responses where the police in several parts of the country are approaching people and also seeking to enforce the law when it comes to drilling of water wells and also use of water resources for various activities. In the work of enforcement and regulations, the legal department of the commission works with the environmental protection agency because when it comes to enforcing, networking is a very important aspect of enforcing. The EPA looks at the general environmental aspect, water resources commission looks at water aspects. We have five offices operating, but the EPA is nationwide. And so it's easier and more productive for the commission to work with the EPA to enforce our laws and our regulations on various aspects of managing of water resources. In the Western region, for example, where we've had a lot of issues with illegal mining water bodies, the EPA has a program to clamp down on that. The Minerals Commission has programs to clamp down on that. And so when it comes to assisting the law enforcement officers to arrest people who are damaging water bodies, we work with the EPA on the ground. We do the inspections together, the monitoring together. And in cases where there has to be prosecutions, we also collaborate to provide the information that the law enforcement officers need to be able to successfully prosecute offenders. The Legal and Monitoring Division of the Commission is also involved in issues of international water bodies. International water bodies means any water body that we share with our neighboring countries. And we have some big ones and smaller ones. The biggest one is the Volta which we share with six other countries, Burkina Faso, Mali, Benin, Togo, and the Côte d'Ivoire. The important principle about international waters is that it's a shared resource. And so no one country can undertake activities on these water sources without consulting the other. Fortunately, we have the Volta Basin Authority, which is headquartered in Burkina Faso, headed by a Ghanaian. And so we work at that level to ensure that operations, actions, infrastructure, and anything that is being done on the Volta is done at a collaborative stage. All the countries participate and make decisions on the use of the Volta. Apart from the Volta Basin Authority, there's another upcoming basin authority that Ghana, La Côte d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, and Mali are looking at on the Komwe, Tano, and Bia rivers, which is also water bodies that we share with these countries. And we are at the very early stages, we are looking at setting up an institution to manage how we use these water bodies for the benefit not only of Ghanaians, but also those other countries that we share the water course with. 
Our desire is that the general public cooperate with the commission. Any activity that we undertake that negatively impacts on the water body, impacts on the citizens of Ghana. And so we always need the cooperation of everybody. We have to police each other. When we find people who are not obeying the laws, we should draw the attention of the police because then it becomes criminal action. We should draw the attention of the commission wherever we find them. The district assemblies, the environmental protection agency, who are all our collaborators, so that we can together successfully manage the water resources in Ghana.